Yo, what's going on guys and girls? Hard Drive here at Fine Teen CB. After FedEx, UPS, and Buster Brown, this was the biggest one for the day, so not bad. It's a uni box, as you can see, you can fold it and fold it over at different levels. Looks like the UPS store packed it for this gentleman. Let's see what we got. Turn label and a note. Guess where it goes. Hey, hard drive. Here's what I would like done to the equipment. Fine tune both radios, cutting out some of the white static noise. Complete all the necessary upgrades. Transmit receive. Possible add the new Max mod. Regulated both radios. Maybe. 4 1969 to the 380. That's not going to happen. We'll check it. Variable power set at 1 watt, turn down to let it swing. Well, it's going to only be what it can do, just to let it over modulate. It's not going to happen. Okay, top gun modulator to work well. Oh, we're going to have to call you on all these. I believe we spoke about this. Top gun modulator is useless. As far as I know, both radios are unmodified. S9 work good. 3 receive is mud. Okay, I got the new Smock TDA sub tank. It's a gift. Add to Russian. I've been running one for a while now. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. Well, we'll be talking. I believe we already spoke once. But that's not gonna happen. Well, let's see what we got. swing thing is useless. Want maximum performance, longevity, that's what I do. Nothing else. Nice pack job though, man. Really nice pack job. Out of there. That one out of there. Looks like two magnets. back in time, you'll realize it was fine-tuned CB that literally made the Magnum radios popular, and it had an absolutely zero to do with the top of the modular. If you look at some of my pictures on the Facebook page, you'll see thousands of top gun modulars. There's a much, much better way of doing it, instead of that meter dating crap. Really good job on packing them. Follow the directions quite well, I like that. Cover the knobs, cover the back. There's one of the older face plates. It's going to be a while. I get a bunch of stuff done yet. We're still way behind. I got some radios promised for this weekend, some other things. And uh, you, uh, any tone AT66 owners that have already purchased them, I got a little issue with the mics. 
Everything's here but the mics. Nobody has the mics. So I'm waiting on the mics. No one's got them yet. As soon as they're here, there's like four more that have to go out. Just waiting for the microphones. You know, the SL41s. Another top-notch job on packaging these things. Super. Cut them out, everything. That's really cool. Take it out and repack them again. You did a great job on that. Back by the box. Alright. S9. Let's go with it first. Already got them taped up. Thank you. Let's pull this out of here. Everybody having a good day? It's an awesome day. You wake up, the light comes in, man. It's going to be a good day. Ain't nobody doubt it. Still kind of warm down here at night. Or excuse me, in the daytime. Cool at night, and I'm digging that part. Alright, so let's see if we've got juice. We will change that over to where you have all your digits that wasn't properly converted. Let's see. It does come on on sideband, but it can be on all the time. I've had some people argue, and you shouldn't argue, just listen, about the top end modulator and the, uh, it's the other mic amp or a little mod that they implement with the top gun. It's a ramp, look at it. The radio tune doesn't appear to be too bad in the magnums are, but see it? Looks like bluegill floating by. So let's see, let's turn the top gun on. And as I've stated in the past, it's always on. Yeah, you'll see the meter go woo woo woo. And I have used the top gun modulators in the past for certain and some applications. But they've been highly modified to actually work. But you don't really even need it if the radio is properly tuned. Okay, now that's on. See it? Let you hear it. We'll kill the echo. Let's see. Mic ain't wide open. Squelch off. And power wide open. So clarifier straight up and down. That's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Let's turn the power down. See it? You know, it's important that you always see everything at the same time. If they ain't showing you, you wasted your money. 
So let's turn the power down. It's all the way down. As you can see, it's just dirty. The waveform, the distortion. Splatter box. So it's dead keying like one, and people that want this dead key nothing swing high. It's time to grow up. It's, it's just a, a waste, total waste. Let's see what uh, finals are in this thing, MOSFETs or whatever we got. There was a time that's all you pretty much heard in my radios and the magnums, either via base station or mobile, like in a big truck. They're a good radio. Properly tuned. And some of the garbage taken out. And the switch can be used in the, in the front for like a remote, etc. Awesome, man. I'll be on the phone with you for this one. Because this radio does have the original 1969s in it. Can't tell you how many of these radios are. I won't get into the names who the people were. There were certain times when there was no skip. You only heard of certain Tex radios all over the country, period. And at the time, a lot of them were using this. And a little bit of help. Coax, stud, antenna system. All that neat stuff. Yep, 1969s. Oh, you can't, you're not going to be able to see them, maybe. There they are. It hasn't been hacked on, butchered on. The AMC is obviously wide open. Yeah, we can take a lot of noise out of the front end, clean up the receiver. I've used one of these for years, too long time. And the Delta Force and the 257. Matter of fact, I've got the first, like of all the blue lights and the lights and, you know, face plates, period. I still got the 257 here somewhere. Of course, it is sporting an MRF 477, but the very, very first blue lighted radio. See her in the shop. Yep, looks good. And this stuff is pretty much useless. It was a good gimmick for its time. But as you can see, that you've seen the distortion and the ramping. Alright, that's that one. That one. Nice radio. 380. These can be, a can be a nightmare. I'll set it down on the cover. See all the wasted power? Literally, just a major, I mean, it was a, a concept, but whoever designed it just, I don't think they have really a clue about RF and how it really works. Radio waves, signal, being modulated by uh, specific frequencies or sounds like the human voice. So you go from this point 
to this point. Let's give it some power. We want to push this little hard. These usually do an easy 60. Real easy 60. With a 4 to 1. You'll see that this dead key low swing high, as you see all the noise in it, is useless. Just leave this in the way. Get that out of the way a little bit. You see it's close to being on frequency. 27, 204.765. Yeah, it's way off. As you probably notice, I don't check receive anymore. It's, it's just a waste of time. Whenever you see a tune like this, it's always going to be a noisy poor receiver. Dead giveaway. So let's take a quick peek on the inside of this one. They do both look like they're in great shape. Looks like a blast from the past. Not, not bad. It's got the twenty thirties in it. Yeah, you know who you are with this box. Thanks. You did an awesome job packing them. This one's been hot, though. Probably not, you know, from talking on it, it's possible, but I really doubt it. This one, I, I need to, we need to talk. This one might be cutting in and out. The reason I say that, it's been so hot baking in the sun. That's not coffee or anything, that's heat. Now this could be either baking in the sun or up in a cubby hole or in a vehicle just baking hot, hot enough to melt that wax to do that. When that happens, when it gets that hot, it, if you have any broken joints, it gets in the joint and that makes it a real nightmare to find the problems. We'll talk. If you see this video, PM me on Facebook. I'll be able to get in touch with you a little bit quicker that way. And uh, I'll get your magnet mounts accomplished. And we'll get these working sweet. Good old radios. Hope everybody has an awesome day. Stay tuned in for the little 8 pill hard drive 163. Mud Duck Station by the Rio Grande. I'm out of here.